What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and we're going to be unlocking the newest PvP lockbox character, Victor Creed aka Sabretooth. I had a really amazing start to get this character. I had 7 out of 7 comics with no duplicates. But then I hit a brick wall when I was trying to get I believe the third cover here. But I finally got it and unlocked Sabretooth earlier today. So in this video we're going to take a look at his comic cover collection, his storyline, and then I'm going to show you some of this character in action and you'll definitely want to see that. He's actually really impressive and he may be my favorite lockbox character yet. Sabretooth also has one of my favorite recruitment dialogues because this second line right here is pretty amazing. Of course this isn't the only lockbox character that said they would betray us. So just imagine we're getting all these characters and they all want to betray us at some point. That doesn't seem too smart. But as far as game purposes, I really do love the fact that we get the option to use villains as well. Now this first cover, Iron Fist Volume 1 Number 14, is actually Sabretooth's first appearance. And I happen to own this comic in real life since I'm a pretty big fan of Sabretooth. Now moving on to the second cover, it's Wolverine Volume 2 Number 41. Next we have the comic cover that took me a little while to get and that's going to be X-Men Volume 2 Number 6. I really thought that I had a shot to go 8 for 8 but I should have known better. Of course it's that last one that always gets me. Cover number 4 is X-Men Volume 2 Number 28. Then moving on to the second row of comic covers we start out with Uncanny X-Men Volume 1 Number 326. This is the first of the Gambit Sabretooth covers. And then we have one more of those, Gambit Volume 3, Number 8. Now the next cover is one of my favorites out of these eight. And that's going to be Uncanny X-Force Volume 1, Number 32. Now on to the very last cover, Number 8. And that's going to be the all-new X-Men Volume 1, Number 9. Now I'm just going to briefly show you the storyline because I know many of you like to read it. And it's pretty interesting and it actually explains a few things. First it's going to tell us about why Sabretooth joined our team and that bomb that's near his brain. Secondly, if you're like me, you probably wondered why do his attacks have adamantium. Well, Victor actually explains that as well. And as this story moves along, I'm going to talk a little bit about what you're going to see next. Normally I only have the character at very low levels because I want to show the video as fast as possible. So I usually recruit them and then hopefully if I'm not training anyone currently, I'll show their level 1 and probably level 2 abilities. But when I recruited Sabretooth today, I couldn't show a video right away. So I was actually leveling him throughout the day and I got him up to level 6. So you're going to see his first 3 abilities in combat in this video. In fact, I'm just going to cut right to his level 6 footage. In the earlier levels, I tried him out with characters like X-23, Elektra, and even Black Cat. And he works very well with any one of these characters. But of course I wanted to place him with Wolverine, and you know that's got to be a Team Spotlight episode in the future. But until that day, we're going to go ahead and see a preview of it. I'm going to be using Sabretooth, along with Infiltrator Brown and Tan Wolverine. I'm also going to be using the Kazuri as well as Binding Contract on my agent. And that Binding Contract is pretty awesome with Sabretooth since you put 3 bleed stacks on the opponent. Also, just in case you were wondering what ISO I was putting on him, let's go ahead and take a quick look at what I have socketed. So far it's just 3 times Reactive Forceful, so Attack, Defense, and Accuracy. And then for my Empowered ISO 8, we have the Aggressive Empowered. This causes melee attacks to increase attack. Now let's get right into the battle. We're facing some of the characters from the new Spec Ops. Sabretooth gets the first turn and we're going to use the Berserker. This buff is going to give him a chance to join in on any ally's attack and also a chance to retaliate when an ally is hit by single target attacks. Next the enemies are going to get to attack but at least we get to see if he retaliates on any of these attacks right away. First Wolverine is going to protect and he dodges and then Berserker procs right away. So we already see a retaliation strike off the very first enemy attack. 
Then after the second enemy attacks, he procs Berserker once again. So due to Sabretooth's level 6, we're already putting some bleeds on the enemies. This is going to help out a lot whenever Sabretooth starts gaining Blood Rage. Now with Wolverine, we're going to use his level 1 and place two more bleed stacks on the top Jotun. This time Berserker is going to cause Sabretooth to join in on the attack and he gains three Blood Rage since there was three applications of bleeding on that top Ice Shaper. Now with our agent, we're going to use the Binding Contract and that's going to put three bleed stacks on this bottom Chieftain. I actually recently just got this weapon from a mischievous lockbox. Now since Sabretooth gets to go again, we're going to use his level 1 claw swipe and try to get him the max stacks of Blood Rage. Unfortunately he misses and doesn't gain any Blood Rage for a miss. The good news is on this next wave there is an Infiltrator, so if we hit him with the claw swipe, we'll gain a Blood Rage on the follow up attack. So first we hit him, we gain Attacker, and we put Bleeding on him. Then we go ahead and hit him a second time place a second pain stack, bleed, and we gain blood rage. The other thing to remember is after using claw swipe, the next attack is guaranteed to be a crit. So Sabretooth seems to be an absolute monster. I can only imagine what his level 2 with 5 blood rage stacks and a guaranteed crit is going to do damage wise. Once you have him completely leveled and socketed with ISO. Right here you can see him with 4 stacks of blood rage and six times attacker and we're gonna actually use that level 2 brutal slash and try to finish off this chieftain and it looks like Sabretooth's gonna do that easily with an overkill now moving on to our second and last battle of the video we're going to be facing a very similar type of battle but this time we start out facing infiltrators and it was really tempting to hit them but I wanted to go ahead and use his level 6 that way we can see how often it procs again this time on our turn, we're going to use the Shepherd Staff. That way we can give Sabretooth a quick extra turn. And then of course we're going to use that Binding Contract. So let's go ahead and put three Bleed Stacks on this top enemy. Right after we attack with the Binding Contract, we get a Berserker proc. So this is absolutely amazing. We're going to get three Blood Rage from a free Berserker follow-up attack. This will definitely place us in really good standing to get 5 stacks of Blood Rage. Then on the next attack we get Berserker once again. I mean what more can I say you're seeing exactly like I did how amazing that proc rate is on Berserker. At this point I'm just hoping I can level Sabretooth to use him in the current PvP season. And of course the other thing I'm thinking is I really hope he doesn't get nerfed. Once it's Wolverine's turn, we're going to finish that top Frostkeeper. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the bottom one with Sabretooth. The main thing that we're trying to accomplish is to take Sabretooth into the final wave with a full 5 stacks of Blood Rage. I really want to see how much damage it will do. So we're just going to finish this last enemy off with a level 1 Claw Swipe. Oh, you also may have noticed all the stamina that Sabretooth gets back. He really never ever runs out. And that's because he gains quite a bit back for each stack of Blood Rage. Alright, so these are the last two enemies, and luckily Sabretooth gets to go first. We do have five stacks of Blood Rage, and three stacks of Attacker. We're going to use his level 2 Brutal Slash, which consumes stacks of Blood Rage to do extra damage. And he has no problem taking out his counter class. It looks like Wolverine's going to proc another Protect, and then Sabretooth gets yet another Berserker proc. So how many times have we seen this throughout just two battles? After that I think we're just going to finish it off with Wolverine's level 2. So that's going to exploit bleeds and it should do a pretty decent amount of damage. Alright here goes Berserker Frenzy. It does a massive amount of damage and ends the video with an epic overkill. So that's going to be it for our first look at Sabretooth. I want to thank you all for watching and ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. The next video will feature Heimdall, so please stay tuned for that. Until then, good luck and take care.